the hell? Why does it go back? Okay, um, what's up everyone? Uh, I'm gonna make this video short and sweet. Uh, I'm gonna be briefly giving my thoughts on 2.1 and the anniversary, and I'll make a video going over my thoughts as a whole, going more in detail, uh, closer to the end of the patch, probably. Um, but the, the, the main attraction of this event, in my opinion, or, or for this update, I would say, would definitely be Acheron and Aventurine. Uh, more importantly, Acheron. I feel like Acheron has more hype. Uh, she seems pretty cool. Um, I I, I want to pull for her really badly, but I have to skip for uh, Aventurine. And speaking of, Aventurine is coming in the second half, and, you know, I'm really excited for him. Uh, I, I want I, I low key wanted Locha to a little bit and uh I do want Jingmu Adelons because she's my main DPS. So what I'm saying is uh I wanted to pull for all four of the five stars in this update, but I can only pull for one because I'm afraid to play it, which is unlucky, but it is what it is. But uh yeah, the the new areas, right? We got two new areas in Panacone, the the Dulight Pavilion and the Clock Studios theme park. I haven't fully explored them yet, but uh, you know they're they're nothing special. But new areas, you know, you love to see it. Uh, it's really nice. Now, the anniversary is kind of what I want to talk about uh, primarily in this video. So we we got the Cosmodesty event. We have the festive gifts event, which. Uh, gives us 20 pulls in total and there's, there's no gift of odyssey because you know this is 20 pulls in total 10 for the anniversary and another 10 uh kind of as the gift of odyssey you know it'd, it'd be weird to have two login events at the same time that gave the same amount of reward so it is what it is and we're also be going to be getting another 10 pull our, our 1600 stellar jade on the day of the anniversary um so yeah I, i'm just going to be quickly going over how i feel about this anniversary so in my opinion you know i i i've i've played uh i've played genshin i've played honkai impact i've played uh um tears of themis right i've, I've done that and I've, I've, I've witnessed the anniversary uh at least once for all of those games right and i gotta say um we we probably haven't even seen all of the uh anniversary stuff uh in honkai impact you get like a little uh um there's like a web event kind of in game where you 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 get to like witness like your journey kind of you know like all the stuff you've done in the past year kind of kind of like with Genshin Impact 2 uh, at least for the first anniversary for that game it just shows you like a lot of statistics a lot of stuff goes through like a little cutscene you know um I feel like Honkai Star Roll will probably do that you know it'll be like you've opened up this many chests in uh you reload six or throughout the whole game uh you you've talked to uh, x amount of npcs you know um something like that um so we'll probably be getting something like that um don't quote me on that but uh you know it, it's a it's a it's a good possibility you know now for for cosmodesty this is the main event for uh uh 2.1 right like the the main anniversary event i gotta say it's a, it's a little different from what I thought it would be, you know. I, I thought there would be a little bit more, but that doesn't mean it's bad. I actually think that this is a really good um, event. Is it the best? I don't know about that one, but this is a this is like the the, the this is the last time we've gone like a like a big event or like a like a flagship event uh, for a patch since um since what 1.2. And that's not including um, conventional memoirs, like what we got in 1.4 and 1.5. Right, the last one was a 1.2 with um, the Underground Treasure Hunt event. And before that was um, uh, the Silver Wolf event. So honestly, I think this is probably one of the best events. You know, you, you log in every day. You do a, you do a little bit of a gameplay, like 5 minutes-ish, 10 minutes. Don't know exactly. They just... You, you just get your dice again the next day, rinse, wash, repeat, you know. It, it's it's a little bit of a simple event, but honestly, it, that doesn't mean it's bad, you know. I think it's actually uh, uh, really good. I don't know. I, I, I personally love it. I don't see a problem with this event or the anniversary at all. I feel like this is definitely a lot better of an anniversary than... Um, than 
than anything Genshin Impact has ever done. Um, with Genshin, we usually get like some kind of like regional festival every year for the anniversary. Like I remember in 2.1, it was uh the Liyue Moonlight Merriment event. 3.1 and 3 or 3.1 and 4.1, uh, the second and third anniversary, it was like. For, for Monset, but, uh, yeah, um, anniversary, anniversary for Star Rail, you know, long story short, W, w, w anniversary, okay, uh, the, the rewards are nothing crazy compared to, uh, what we've seen in Genshin Impact, but, you know, really, what matters most, uh, is that it feels like an anniversary, and that's, that's really just what I wanted to uh, talk about. It, it feels a lot more like an anniversary, but uh, that's it for me. This video is a lot longer than I thought it would be. That's uh, that's the least amount of points I could have gotten. <laughs> but uh, that's it for me. Uh, I wanna I wanna hear what people have to think about uh, the anniversary. That's it. Goodbye.